Hey everybody, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Happy Monday. Um, it is a cold one out there today in uh, Vermont, but it was spring all week last week and now it's winter again. But anyway, um, so today is exercise of the week and I want to talk about the um, good morning. Um, now the good morning is a hip hinge movement um, but the difference between the good morning, I usually, when I have clients do it for the first time, usually I've had them done Romanian deadlifts for a while. And then I describe it as the exact same movement as a Romanian deadlift, except instead of the, uh, instead of the weight being in your hands in front of you, the weight is going to be on your shoulders. Um, and I do want to definitely caution that if you're doing good mornings for the first time to do them with very light weight because if you don't do them uh, properly, they can put a little bit more strain on the back than other, uh, other hip hinge variations. Um, but it is otherwise exactly the same as a Romanian deadlift. You're going to start nice and straight, good posture shoulder blades down and back and then you're going to hip hinge your your butt out behind you and then back up now the things to really remember is one to keep a nice neutral back um, to all the movement in your knees is coming from your hips going back out behind you. You don't want to, the two main issues I see with people doing these for the first time is, and any like kind of hip hinge movement, is they either don't bend their knees at all, or they bend their knees too much and it's more of a squat. Um, feet are about hip width apart. Um, forgot to mention that part. Uh, but feet are about hip, hip width apart and you want your lower legs, your shins to be, to remain as vertical as possible and that's where the, the movement, the bending in your knees comes from. The bending in your, in your knees doesn't come from you actually bending your knees, it comes from you allowing your knees to bend as your hips hinge. So let me show that to you again. So you allow your knees to bend as your hips hinge behind you. Um, and that's as far as you need to go. Um, keep your head nice and aligned. Don't, you know, look up like this. Keep it nice and so that you have a straight back. And then go back about as far as you can until you feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings. And when you come back up, you're going to push into the floor. I don't want you to see it bounce. I don't want to see bouncing, but you want to think about pushing into the floor and squeezing the glutes together because the squeezing of the glutes is what actually extends the hips. So one more time here. Nice straight good posture, shoulder blades in those back pockets, <coughs> neutral spine, hips out behind you. One of the cues I give for people is to try to pretend you're going to touch the wall with your butt cheeks. So you're going to touch the wall, pretend that you're going to touch the wall, and back up. And it's different than just like bending over. Um, what well, a lot of people end up doing, that's one of the other things, is people will just bend over, and then that puts a lot of pressure on their back. It's all of the movement is coming from your hips going out behind you. And then back up. So I'll do that. The first one I'll do is just bending over. The second one I'll do is a true hip hinge, and you'll see the difference. And you can definitely feel the difference once you 
are comfortable with the hip hinge, you'll, you'll definitely feel a difference. So this is just bending over. This is the hip hinge. And one of the things that will help you to feel the difference is um, that stretching your hamstrings. If you're just bending over forward, you will not feel, you, sh you probably won't feel the stretch in your hamstrings. If you're actually doing the hip hinge where your butt is moving out behind you, you will get to a point where you will feel a pretty strong stretch in the back of your legs. So that is the good morning. I love good mornings. They work my posterior chain pretty much like nothing else does. Um, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, glutes, hamstrings. Um, so I love them for that. And I would again say like, if you're unfamiliar with them, um, start off with really, really lightweight first to make sure you have the hip hinge. Um, you properly are doing the hip hinge um, as opposed to, uh, to not because these can put a lot more stress on the lower back than other hip hinge movements if you're not doing them just right because mostly because of where the um, where the weight is situated um, it's further away from further away from your center of gravity and so it's um, it actually ends up feeling a lot heavier uh, so anyway that's a good morning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did uh, and you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching on Rumble, please hit the Rumble button, share it, and follow me. And then uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you perhaps not tomorrow, but definitely later in the week for another video. I'll see you all later. Bye.